This is why we are with Stone Quarry Simulator version 1.2. All you know is this called version 1.2 at least. The rest of it I could be lying about. First off, uh, let me say, there's a career mode. I'll go over that after I go through the tutorials because the tutorials show off the game. And the career mode really... Well, we'll get to it, you know? We'll get to that. Anyhow, first off, this is the intro. Now watch uh, kind of on the right-ish side of the screen for a floating character right about now. Wait, wait, there he is. He's floating. He's floating. But now he's not. Because he has to get to work at his job at the stone quarry. Alright, so this is the first machine. It uh, cuts things with a blood-tipped blade. So you just go into things, but like that, and the ground around you morphs pushing your machine around and stuff but it does really morph the area which is cool you know it's like if you go into the wall and have at it the wall deforms I like that feature you know I mean it just keeps deforming for quite a while too it's I think that's finally done now I'll let the dust clear and then you can see uh how much it deforms. Alright, so you can see that there's like a hole almost right there. I'm trying to get a little more if I can. Looks like that's about as close as I can get right now. Alright, so that's the first machine. Uh, I'm not going to actually do the tutorial parts for it because that just shows off all it does. Tutorials just like, this is how you learn the controls, blah blah blah, extra stuff. Uh, I don't need to really show off. Next thing is the transport vehicle. It does just that, transport things. Not the rocks, other things. And so, here we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for example, you go over here, you pick up a box. You hit next a couple times. Then you walk it over to the truck. And you get in the little spot, and then you can put the box in the truck. Amazing. The box contains dynamite, I should point out. After you would load up uh, what they want, which is uh, two boxes of dynamite and uh, one of those jackhammers, you would close it up. Oh, damn it. I'm stuck on nothing. Here we go. And you drive it off. So now the question you're all asking, how well does it do off-roading? Well, okay. It's okay. I mean, it, it, steep hills kill it. Totally. It can't do steep hills. Like that. It's no way. You gotta do less steep hills. Then the way I'm supposed to go is kind of up uh, there. I'm not gonna. Because I already went the wrong way. Well, so it's too late. So we'll just go this way. And we'll dump the truck. Be more careful not to drive into the water. Be more careful not to drive into the water. Look at the box glitching through the... Yeah, that's the truck. Uh, oh. Okay. Here we are. To main menu. Alright, next up we got... Uh, the pneumatic drill and explosives. This one's, uh, interesting, I guess. Here we are. This is if you actually brought the truck up here and took out the stuff that it comes with it. It's the drill and the explosives I was talking about. So first you grab the, this. Then you choose, I want to drill a hole here. And then this is, the way you drill a hole is you hold down either spacebar or the mouse, and that thing pops up. If you let it go too long, it overheats, and you got to restart entirely like this. So you, you got to... And what your goal is, is you, you got to fill this bar up without it going and overheating. So you let go for a second when it gets red, then it's green, so you go some more. Let go for a second, green. And you just keep doing it until it's uh, done. Alright, so after that, you got to set this thing down. Go over and grab some explosive. I say some explosive, it's just TNT, I think this is how the game references it, or dynamite, I don't know which, I forget, and, uh, it's dynamite, it's dynamite, alright, and then that's what, ha what it looks like when you have dynamite in a hole, 
It's going to tell you to do that two more times, and then you'll go to the next tutorial. So, boom, boom, boom. Imagine I'm doing that. Oh, yeah, I did it pro. And we're at the next part. Same loading screen for everything. So, I w it'd be nice if they had, you know, specific, this is for this tutorial, so you got this loading screen, but nope. All right. So, there are the holes that I supposedly drilled. What you have to do is you have to run away, and then you use the, uh... The, uh, what's it called? The blasting button. Eh. I don't know what it's actually called. It just says, uh, you know, let's oh, screw it. The detonator, that's what it's called. So you use it, you just click it, and then spacebar a couple times, and then you're, you're good to go. So it's gonna go boom in one of the longest explosions ever in a video game. Seriously. Like, it's like boom, and the dust just keeps, it keeps. It keeps going. Just it, it 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 is a long time, man. Just yep, dust. Yep, that's dust. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. I can't see shit. Why are you showing me this still? There we go. That's that tutorial. Next is the uh, wheel loader, which I will skip because you use that in the next tutorial, so it's uh, redundant. Alright, here we are, and for the wheel loader, what you do is you get in it, get in it, and you slam into this until you have it lined up right to hook it on. There we go, and we're hooked up. So what you want to do here is you want to just drive into the rocks, and when you got some, move it up a bit. So I got about five in here. And these beeps are so loud, I swear. They are like so much louder than everything else in this game. And all you do is you add the rocks to the thing. And two of them missed somehow. Pro. Alright, there we go. So I got five more. Let's try not to miss the thing with half of them this time, huh? These beeps are so loud that I had to take my head my headphones off for a while just because when I was playing it at first because they are compared to everything else like the music's like a nice light and then this thing is like blaring it as loud as it possibly can all right let's see all right good most of them made it in that time so I gotta get 15 in there before I can actually drive it to show it off so probably two more uh, trips basically of dropping the rocks in Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's scary. I need to make sure I don't come at too steep of an angle, otherwise I'll just fall off the cliff. Alright. Hopefully only one more trip is required. Alright, there we go. Ow! I had more a second ago. There we go. Hey, I wonder. If you, like, open and close it, like, kind of thing, if you can just keep getting more and more, like... So do I have, like, a bunch in here, or is it not really a bunch? I might have like a, a shit ton in here or barely any at all, I don't know. We'll find out when I dump it. I think it was a shit ton. I, I want to test this real quick, so um, let's go. I just want to see if I could like basically pick up this whole thing. Hey, look at that. You could just keep on picking things up like this forever, it looks like. That's interesting. I 
Because once it's in, it stays. So you could just keep adding, it seems like. Ah, who knows? I don't care too much, so. What I need to show off is this beast. Look at that thing. Alright, so this is it. The boulders stay in place no matter what. You could drive like this, and they'll still stay. So, the real question, of course, is how does this thing off road? Very well. Check this out. Look at that man. Going down a fucking 70 degree hill. And then I climb up a almost 90 degree hill. This thing, is, it, it goes over stuff, man. You drive around like that. Rocks stay in anyways. And then next thing is you gotta drop it off into that thing. Just back it up. And there we are. Most of it made it. Alright, this is the Stone Crusher and Block Size tutorial. This one's uh this one has a funny phrase in it. I have to point out. Alright, so let's just get into this. Next, next, next. Alright. So it's saying like, okay, this you can choose your size based on where you are, it, it changes what size. It wants this size, so what you do is you hold spacebar. And the rocks get fed in and crushed to a certain size. Look at that. Oh, there the rocks go. And you actually have to hold down spacebar. You can't just click. You have to hold it down. Uh, and right here it says, If you hold down the spacebar longer, the ground stones pile up in front of the conveyor belt. Nothing special there. You now have some time to practice before you move on to your next lesson. So it's basically saying, practice holding down the spacebar. I find that funny. It's like, man, nobody's ever done this before. Hold down spacebar. I mean, this is this is something else. Holding down a whole key to achieve something. Good thing I'm practicing. Otherwise, I don't know how if I'd be able to do this on my own. There's that day and night cycle. I mean, I'm not even using a laptop in my computer. I'm doing this on has never done that before, so I'm 90% sure that's the day and night cycle that just happened, or something like that. It's just like it goes bra randomly bright and then dark. All right, there we go. That's that. And the last thing is the wheel loader with chainsaw. How menacing! He's one of those in a zombie apocalypse. Alright, here we are. Alright, so you gotta... Yeah, 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 don't tell me what to do. Alright, so what you gotta do is you gotta... Smash into the chainsaw until it's lined up right to get turned... To get plugged in. Oh. There we are. And then you go to the, the green zone. Whoa! Hey, this can be used as a ramp. I gotta try that. Yeah! That was stupid, but it was fun. Alright, so what you're supposed to do is you just get in the box and then hit control. So this one is different than the other thing. This one's the exact opposite. If it fills up, you have to restart the entire process. When I say entire, I mean all the way from here. You have to restart brand new. So you just want to play this safe. You just let go. Don't let it overheat. And just keep doing it until it drills through. Or cuts through, I guess I should say. There's the rain. It's a uh, feature of the game. Or a glitch. One of the two. I think it's a feature. So for this, just keep going. Then you gotta do the next side. And one, two more sides.
Alright, we're almost there. We're about 80% of the way. Don't ask me where the rest of the marble goes after you cut it, by the way. Or granite, or whatever this is supposed to be. And there you are, you're done. You made a perfect square. You can now push it around. Alright, so those are the tutorials. You have career mode, which is, uh... It's basically run a quarry. And basically just using what you've seen. Uh, like, for this, I had a mission... You must do... I need so much of this size material. So what you do is you use this to, you know, cut some up and use that to deliver it and stuff. See, so like that, there you go. That's what they want and stuff, so you, you know. Huh, you can't cut here. Apparently. Should be able to cut here, though. Yes. But yeah, you get missions and stuff, and you have to do them. And not my cup of tea. Anyhow, until uh, next time, this has been YBR. I'll s oh, look at that face. I'll see you next time. Alright, I'm done fucking around. I'll see you next time for real.